Hi, this is Julie Curitan. In this session today, we are going to talk about uh, property inspection and management application. I'm going to give you a general idea of how it works and walk you through some of the steps. Um, bear with me because I am going to be learning about using this along with you. First, we are going to uh, update your user profile. I can touch user profile and um, you can put in the company information and your logo. You can touch the photograph there if you want to put in a logo. And um, right here you can put in your company name. Oops, sorry, writing in. Um, there they have JRS Innovation, but feel free to edit whatever company, um, let's see, Mr. Company. Um, and then save your changes and uh, then next we can update settings for your report template and here you've got uh, color combinations probably generally you would want green for good and red for replace or yellow for repair um, or however you want to change the terminology that would best suit you <clears throat> and uh, you could put in whatever you want your inspection price to be and what uh, sort of uh, dollars or euros and next we will go back out and um, go into terms and conditions um, and then here you can edit any type of um, agreement that you want to make um, for example how you want the payment to be done um, and any sort of words there are some that might already be in there or however you feel like you would uh, <clears throat> like to have your agreement with your customers. Um, and then next, we are going to input a sample customer, uh, which next you would just hit your client button on the main screen in the yellow. And we already have some uh, pretend clients listed in here. But to add a new client, you would add the plus sign down below and um, then you would just put in a name like Mr. Uh, Potato Head. Oops, I didn't capitalize, but whatever. And then um, you can put your address and phone number and email. <clears throat> um, let's say 777. Gresham Avenue, contact two three four five six um, seven eight nine nine, and then uh, an email address, and then you would want to save that, and it's now in your client list. Go back out, and um, next you would have uh, adding in your properties. We have a list here. Add your sample properties, you have the address, input city, postal code, country, the year it's built, and your square footage. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then next, um, this is how you would do an inspection. You have two options once you start your inspection. You can either do a more a standard one, which is quicker, or custom a something that you can do to customize um, if it's uh, like a corporate uh, customer or you can uh, uh, here I'll show you how we first we will put in you put in your inspector name um, let's see John Doe and then the price, 500. Uh, put in here your weather conditions. 
Um, right now it's rainy where we are, so I'm going to put rainy. <clears throat> property details. You can add the property. So let's choose one of them that we have saved here. Input ports it right in there. And that's all the information that had been saved. And then you can take a picture um, where you are at the property. You just hit the camera. Right now I'm just going to take a picture of the wall here. Um, and you have here, you go into your um, client name, and that you can go from your client list. See, we had added Mr. Potato Head. Let's add him. We'll select him. Um, here is where you can add the more detailed features. You can add all your property features. You go in. Um, how many attics, how many balconies, bathrooms, bedrooms, cooling systems, let's see, say there's like one attic or one cooling system, courtyard. You can just sort of customize it however you want. Ooh, a theater. Uh, that would be very nice. Out of the property, and then at the bottom, you just start the inspection. And then you can go in and select which item you want to inspect. First, let's inspect the courtyard. And here you, it's, you can add how many areas you want or, or divide or name the area name. Uh, let's say it's, you just want to do um, front, uh, right quadrant or front steps of the courtyard or something like that. And let's say they need repair and... Um, Second from bottom, you can put the note. Second from bottom, chipped or something. Is chipped. Um, <clears throat> pretty easy. And we won't go through each one. You basically see how that works. And uh, proceed, and then you have any sort of notes or comments you want to put in towards the end uh, to make things customized or more detailed. Hit done, and um, at the end you would have easily, you can have your client sign it just from the pad and save. And then you've got your inspector signature already in there. and. Um, then you would generate the report. But anyway, we're not doing that right now. Um, and then the quick inspection would be the standard. Select. And basically the same thing, but you don't have, down at the bottom, you don't have any of the... Uh, you're not going to input like how many courtyards, how many cooling systems. You would just have a sort of standard uh, inspection area. So let's just show an address. We'll pick Montreal Drive, um, client name, Steve Madden, and inspection price. Let's see, $500. Um, weather condition, we'll make this one cloudy, it's cloudy here. Um, and then let us start our inspection. Oh, see, if you haven't filled out all the fields, we need to put in an inspector name. I'll put in, there I am. Okay. Oh. See, I'm having all sorts of problems here. Here's my image. There are some homes. Let's get back there. And just go down and then start our inspection. See, these are our general uh, 
items to inspect and under roof there's lots of parts of the roof uh, the roof covering materials and under roof covering materials you would say let's say they're good and then under material type is the uh, tile roof or a metal roof I like metal roofs I had one before and then just comments uh, you know probably we don't have to have any comments if it's in great repair but have the option to add it there and then check that that's done um, gutters material type type notes you can go on um, you can see the general idea there and uh, proceed and we're done and then you have your client sign Doo -doo -doo. and save and we can generate a report Okay, those are pretty easily explained. Um, next, uh, let's generate uh, an invoice. What we would do is the blue invoice tab here. And there's one right here. We can add a new one. Here, let's choose this here. Ta-da! We've got uh, all the information we've input and has what to do and generate invoice. And there we are. If you see, and these are ones that I, we've already done here. That's the one we just had, Mr. Potato Head. See, we can view our invoice. And go back. And other things we can do is uh, we can schedule if a future inspection under red here is schedule. Um, schedule an inspection, just general. We put in our client name. We've already entered our client, so we can just select from our list here. Uh, Mr. Buffett and the address. We can say he's on Madison Drive. And then just your general easy to choose calendar. Say we're due December 14th. And then time, you can just swipe around the clock. Three and then let's say three thirty. Okay, um, and then any notes you might want to say about the appointment if you want. So anyway, uh, go back and then um, you can. Oh, you can add any sort of tasks you want. General task, and that's just completely up to you what you would like to write and type in there any notes to yourself not sure uh, follow up with uh, Mr. Buffett about uh, his inspection or um, and then you would okay I'll just write it in follow up with Mr. Buffett. Oops. And then and I'm having all sorts of problems here today. And then there we are. Oh, it looks like you can record. You can even record your task if you want. Let me know what I'm doing here. A task reminder. Okay, date. Maybe on the first, okay. And the time, sure, we'll follow up at two and save. We got our task reminder built in. <clears throat> and uh, generally we also have um, to process fee payment in the app here. Uh, 
which right here is payment. And you can add in your transaction amount and the currency type, um, whatever you want to do for your currency code. And then the amount is set in dollars right now. Um, and then you want to do what types. And uh, got all that. Oops. But anyway, it was back in, under the little hamburger where you find uh, for your processing payment and where you enter all your information. Uh, and then just basically um, a summary of everything that we've, of the whole application. It's just a professional cloud-based application for property inspection. And uh, we can do client invoices, agreements, schedules, and tax ma task managers. There's no need for a desktop or laptop to prepare the inspection reports. You can just bring your uh, uh, iPads or just your tablets with you. And um, you can take your pictures and everything uh, on it and prepare your reports. There's no need of your desktop. Thank you very much and uh, appreciate you taking the time to listen to this tutorial.